guys, this is not necessarily a kind of recipe video, but it's more of a how-to video. So I've run out of coconut milk. I don't have any fresh coconuts, and I wanna show you how I do it. So what I have in here is desiccated coconut. So you know the little dried packets that everyone has in their cupboards, and it doesn't really matter how old they are, I've found. Um, this one's been around for a while. Um, what I've done is I've just poured boiling hot water over it, and I've left it to kind of steep for around an hour. And the next step is we're gonna blend this. Now, this is for anyone who's run out of any alternative milk. You can use this as your kind of vegan milk, um, or if you wanna use it in a curry or something as a substitute for coconut milk. So this is how we're gonna do it. So hot water, coconut, that's all you need. Right, so what you need to do is just get a blender. You can tr do this in a neutral bullet as well if you've got one, um, but I don't find a food processor works. You actually need to blend this. So this is all gonna go in and make sure you get every last bit, including the spoon, yeah? <laughs> okay, you just get all of that in there. And then we're gonna blend this now until it's completely smooth. Okay, so this has now been blended and all we're gonna do is take some muslin or a clean sock or clean tights or anything that you can find um, and all I'm gonna do is just put that over a jug, place all of that inside and we're gonna let that drain through and I'm just gonna sort of squeeze it a little bit and as you can see, the milk's coming through now Keep squeezing. And what you'll be left with is the pulp, basically, that we don't really need, because you would have extracted all the lovely, delicious coconut flavor from, oh, it's going down my arm. Okay. Yeah, you would have taken all the lovely flavor from the um, flakes, so they won't really have anything, any flavor left. You could use it to bulk it up for cookies, actually. So if you wanted to use it as a coconut flour, you could certainly do that. I'm sure, although I've never tried that before. Why don't you try it, let me know. Um, okay, keep squeezing. And we are left with, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So you're left with this kind of really powdery coconut flakes, which creamy milk. I'm just gonna pour out a little bit and show you how delicious it looks and have a taste. That's so nice, lovely and rich. You can see how thick and creamy that is as well. That will last you up to a day or two days in the fridge. Um, it won't keep the same way as traditional vegan milk because we haven't added any preservatives or anything like that. So up to two days. And this concept works with oat milk um, as well. So you can soak your oats in hot water and then blend them and then do the same muslin trick. And then you'll have your oat milk at home. There you go, guys. Hope you like it. And um, let me know if you try it at home.